Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Today we have an interesting integral. This is not our table case because we have a quadratic formula in our denominator. We have x squared minus 10x plus 21. This is not good for us because this is not our table case. How can we solve this interesting case? I want to show you my approach, how I see the solution to this, how I solve this kind of question. So first of all, let's take a look. Integral dx and in denominator we will have x square minus 10x and I want to write this this 21 as 25 minus 4 so I write this as take a look this element I write as 25 uh, minus 4 but why I write this like that because take a look these elements if we group this we have our formula this is our x minus 5 square this is our x minus 5 square and take a look if we rewrite this we will have interesting case dx dividing by x minus 5 so we group these elements and minus and minus 4 so we rewrite this like that if we raise this to the second power and we subtract 4 we will have the same story here so nothing change but what we're going to do in our case in this case take a look there is a formula in higher mass so if we have in our differential sign we have x minus 5 the same as right here it will be a really good case because if we write this as d x minus 5 nothing change because if you find derivative this will be the same as right here so nothing change and in denominator we will have x minus 5 square it's the same and minus we need to create a square from this with this constant so we can write this 4 as 2 square and this will be our our formula if we substitute x minus 5 equal to t we will have our table case this is not easy table case but this is higher mass case table case we can rewrite it as integral dt over t square minus 2 and take a look this is our table case this is our natural log case we can write it as one fourth natural log t minus 2 dividing by t plus 2. This is our table case and plus a constant. And the last step, let's find this. Our final answer, x minus 5 equal to t, so we can write it as 1 fourth natural log and in our absolute value, if we plug in x minus 5, we'll have x minus 5 minus 2, we'll have x minus 7 and in denominator we'll have x minus 5 plus 2 we will have x minus 3 and plus c so this is my answer this is my approach how i solve this if you have any question maybe you have another method how to solve it a really interesting about your answer about your suggestion thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos